try this with me again. Your miserable life. Ha! Let you that Martin no I will now invite the police to carry both of us and be going. If you try this with me again, it's UK that is causing it now. UK long kawaloko. You have the nerves to bring your disgusting, stupid, irritating, demonic hands on my face. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to do a sit down video with you guys today i'll be talking it's been a long time to be honest but i am so happy i'm so happy that at last i am doing a sit down video with you guys mm -hmm. i just want to say thank you to my fellow subscribers mm -hmm. my viewers out there i want to appreciate you all i just want to say thank you so in today's video i'm going to be talking about when i went to nigerian party mm, it's not my first time going to a nigerian party of course i'm a nigerian so i've been to lots of nigerian party and it has gone really well i've not had any problem and this one baffles me for weeks for months for weeks i'm still baffled and I thought I should talk about it. I thought I should really voice out because I noticed that I keep quiet about a lot of things that has to be talked about. And I think this is the reason why people step on my toes. I've seen lots of content creators that bring any little issues online. Issues that are not even up to what, what I've been through. They bring it online. They talk about it. But me, I never do. I just wave it aside and move on. And I've said to myself, enough is enough. I will learn to voice out. I will learn to speak out. Just in case. Who knows what is going to happen in future. This can stand as evidence. <laughs> I'm still baffled though. Now, if you're watching me for the first time, you're welcome to this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified of every of my uploads. Loads, okay. What happened? I was invited to a Nigerian party. I did not do Mogbo Moyao. I was actually invited. It's summer. Everybody wants to go out there. Everybody wants to come out. The party I was invited to previously, before this one I'm going to talk about, went very well. Okay, so let me first talk about the one that I was invited to previously. It went well. I saw this lady there, which I greeted and I said hello to. Everything went well. We went to the second party. I went there and then I was sitting back in the door, so back in the altar, facing the crowd. The door in front of us is further down. The way the seat is being positioned, just positioned in a circular shape. So wherever you're facing, you just have to sit that way. I sat down, parking one door that is close to me. A lady came in from that door that is back in me. I was sitting with my friend and other people. They were sitting on our own table. The lady came. I didn't see her. She had seen me and this is the reason why she did that. She came behind me. I felt a big pinch on my cheek. It was so painful. It was extremely painful. I held my cheek in pain. Like I raised my head up. I was looking at her. She was going. I noticed that she looked back to see how I felt. And she left. She didn't care to say, Oh, did you feel any pain? I'm sorry. I was just playing with you. She left. The extent that the person sitting right beside me noticed it and said, ah, ah, did you do that to her? I heard the lady say that. I can feel the it. She used her hands to pinch my face. I was just like this. I was holding my hands in pain and also looking at her with surprise. What have I done? This is the lady I saw in the last party and we hugged and we greeted. At first, I thought maybe she was playing, but I felt that that is a very, very stupid play to play with somebody. That is not a good kind of play. I felt the it. At the same time, I thought she was playing because, you know, some people do not know how to play. And this is somebody that don't usually play like that. They only say hello to each other. So I didn't expect her to play such delicate play with me. Right there, I wasn't comfortable anymore. I just had to leave. I knew something was wrong somewhere. I told my friend I need to go home now. And she said, why? Why? Blah, blah, blah. Am I not going to eat? I said, no, I don't want to eat. I have to go now. She thought I was joking. I stood up, I picked up my bag and I left. I went back home. When I got home, washed my face, took my makeup off. My cheek was red. It was red. This whole place was red. What has she used on my face? What is the meaning of this? I was angry, but at the same time, I was like, let me just overlook it. But this kind of play is very, very expensive. I just decided to wave it aside. I didn't take it as anything. The following morning, I saw a text message on my phone. She said, I'm very prideful. Pride comes before a fall. She said up to three words. <laughs> I became really surprised. I'm like, pride comes before a fall. Is this not the person that hurt my cheek yesterday? Is this what I get for you hurting my cheek? You are supposed to apologize to me. Now you're insulting me. Despite the fact that you hurt me and I didn't take any action. You still have the nerves to insult me. What have I done to you? I was in shock. And then 
I gave her a call. She was sending text. I just called her directly because I wanted to know what the problem was. I wanted to know what her problem was. She didn't pick. The phone was just ringing. I sent a voice note to her. I said, are you drunk? Are you okay? What happened? What's the problem? Do we have any fights? I saw you in the previous party. I hugged you. What are you talking about? Are you referring to me? Is it me you're, you want to talk to or you made a mistake? You, I was so confused. She went about insulting me. She sent a text again insulting me and then I said, sure. What is happening here? Even your last birthday, you displayed your picture. Oh my dear, I celebrated you. Your son was celebrating birthday. I sent you a message. I celebrated your son. You did not even reply to that message. You just replied with an emoji. But I waved it out. I said, well, maybe she's not in the mood. Now, what are you talking about? Did we have any quarrel? Are you drunk? Are you drunk from the last party we went? <laughs> because I was so confused now. I don't know where the problem is coming from. This is the lady that I like so much. There was a time that we used to talk. At the point, I noticed that she's always busy because she works from morning till night. Stopped calling her because I just noticed she's not the type that have that time. I know she's a very busy person. So where is the problem coming from? What have I done? I kept asking her, what have I done? If there's anything I've done, I am ready to apologize. What have I done to you? Is anything the matter? This is somebody that followed me on all my social networks. She followed me on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Followed me on all my social platforms. I have never ever had any problem with you. She didn't tell me exactly what I've done. It was just insulting. You said I'm prideful. How? I am older than you. Have you forgotten? You are supposed to greet me when you see me. But I do not ever I wait for you to greet me. When I see you, I greet you. I greet you. I come to you. I hug you i shake you i do whatever i make sure i greet you whenever i see you so which pride are you talking about where is the pride you're talking about you don't know the meaning of pride what pride how am i proud i'm just the type that I, if i see you if we're not good friends like if we don't make eye contact or if you make eye contact with me i notice you make eye contact with me and you take your face away i will take my face away as well that is me if I make eye contact with you and you smile, hey, yek I will greet you. That's me. I cannot greet you when you look at me and took your eyes off. And you expect me to start, hey, auntie, who does that? This is UK for crying out loud. Nobody has time for that. And you sit there telling me I am prideful. How? She did not give me any answer. I blocked her on my WhatsApp. Blocked her on my WhatsApp. She now went to call me directly again. I blocked her again. She now went on TikTok again to message me, insulting me again. I blocked her again. So all my social media, she was coming to message me. I was expecting her to go further on Facebook so I could block her, but she didn't do that. This is all coming from a place of jealousy. Jealousy. Pure jealousy. Somebody that, thank God that she came out to say, oh, this is me. I am jealous of you. Some people will be jealous of you. You won't even know. See, they will do something. They will harm you. You will not even know. But this person have been hugging thinking she's a good person came out to say i am a bad person no, run away from me and i'm so happy that she did she did <laughs> hey guys madam let me tell you something i am saying this openly right now you must have done this and gone free you know when you did this i did not take any action I did not call the police at the party to say, oh, somebody has just hurt me. Because if I do that, the party is going to stop. And they are going to say, this lady came to somebody's party. And you know Nigerians, we Nigerians now, we can turn something upside down. Everybody is going to be after me. They are going to be saying, ah, they invited this lady. Instead, I gently walked away. You know I did that? I walked away for peace. And you still came back to me to insult me. As in how? Who does that? It's done nothing to you. Even if you hate somebody, if you think somebody is prideful, if you know you cannot carry your own pride, everybody has pride. If you know you cannot carry your own pride as well, avoid that person. Must you come and hurt my face before you show your hand? By eating me hard, by insulting me, by saying it to my face. Look, madam, if you try this with me again, in your miserable life, if you try this with me again, ha! that in Noeton? I will now invite the police to carry both of us and be going. If you try this with me again, it's UK that is causing it now. It's UK, UK, Lonkawa, Lowoko. If it's not UK, is it you? You have the nerves. Bring your disgusting, stupid, irritating, demonic hands on my face. On my face. On my beautiful, beautiful, God given face. Okay, is that face that is irritating you, Abby? That beautiful face that is vexing you. Oh, is it my star shop that is paining you? She has three children and she can still maintain her figure. Which one they pain you inside? Let me know. I don't know. Which one they pain you inside? I am older than you. Do you know that? And these are the people that goes to church. These are the people that goes to church every Sunday to listen to the word of God. I don't know what they listen to in their church. I do not know. Pastor 
people should be ashamed of you. I'm very sorry to say that you go about some problems from one place to another and then you go to church on Sunday, every Sunday to be precise, to behave like an angel and then you come out there to display your demonic act. Call yourself a Christian. Which Christian? Where is that done? Even me. I have not even been to church for years, like two to three years now. I cannot behave like a demon like you. Demon in human clothing. That is what you are. You brought your shameless self out to, 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 to look for somebody that is prideful in the United Kingdom. Who does that? Who have the time? You, you have time. Oh. If you try this next time. Try this next time. Because this is my community. You cannot stop me from coming out. Because I will come out and we are still going to meet again. Definitely. When you see me passing here, you had better pass here. What did I say? When you see me passing here, you pass there. I'm a very peaceful person in my community. Nobody can say ill of me. I do not cause a sin. I do not cause any problem. Since I've been a YouTuber, I have never ever come out to say anything about anybody. I allow it to die down. I stay in my house and I heal. I heal and I move that on. That is what I do. But since you want me to start calling you people out now, we start doing that because me got me a bad one. Hey, me a bad one. I am just trying to be calm because I do not know why I have the right, the infantry, the guts to use your stupid hands on my face. Away, mate. You know you are jealous of somebody. Don't watch them again. Don't watch them. Click out. Unsubscribe. Unfollow. It's as simple as that. And that will give you peace of mind. Do not start feeling insecure. Don't start feeling insecure because somebody is doing something that you cannot do. That is not my problem. How does that affect me? Start feeling insecure that somebody is being creative and you cannot be creative. Hey, Joe. Please, guys, I'm begging you. I am not a troublemaker. I am a peaceful. Even in my neighborhood, they know I am not a troublemaker. Except if you come for me. If you come for me, I will give it to you, water, water. I will give it to you. That is me for you. But if you don't, if you don't come for me, you're going your own. Me too, I'm going my own. You can never hear pain from my mouth. I am warning you now openly, and everybody can hear me. Anybody that can hear me should hear me. Don't you ever, you know yourself, don't you ever, ever in your miserable life lay your filthy hands on me. Because I do not care. I do not care. What kind of rubbish is this? Avoid jealous friends. Avoid jealous people. If you, Even if you have a friend, you notice they are jealous. Leave them alone. You're going to gain a lot of peace and contentment by being on your own. You're going to be happy being on your own. A lot of people I know, they are so scared of being on their own. You have to be with the crowd. Be with devils in human clothing. People that do not want you to move forward. You can be happy on your own. You and be happy with your family. And you achieve more when you're on your own. This is what happened to me, guys. Please, I would like, I would like to read your comments in the comment section. Because this is very strange. Oh, I do not know that people can be this jealous and be this hateful. Just hate your neighbor for just no reason. This is going to be the end of this video. Thank you all so much. If you've watched it to the end of this video, let me hear your thoughts on this incident. Love you guys and thank you for your great support. Bye-bye.